What's up everyone, welcome back. In today's video, we're actually showing a new car on the channel. Uh, it's new to you, but not to me. I've had this car for actually about 15 years. Um, decided I'm gonna start using it as my daily again because I uh, found out recently that I'm having a baby, so this is gonna be my family car. So without further ado, let's check it out. This is a GA70 1989 Toyota Supra. That's Mark III model, obviously. It's been one JZ swapped. Uh, it's got a Garrett single turbo on it and quite a few other things. So we'll pop the bonnet and have a look. <coughs> See the interior is relatively clean. Um, got a dash mat on there just because we've got a cracked dash. Got the burgundy interior. But actually dig it quite a bit. Gives that real hot 80s vibe. <clears throat> and here's the engine so it's actually a little bit dirty at the moment and as i said it's been sitting here for a long long time in storage just because it didn't have any room for it at the place and been spending most of the time working on project 1uz but now that this thing's going to be in the picture a lot more you'll probably be seeing a lot more of this thing so you can see as we've got there it's a garrett gt 3582r uh running up 0.82 rear housing on it um, there's not much else going on with this thing really it's got a three inch dump on it um, three inch exhaust with muffler in it up the back uh, we've got a queer aluminium radiator there uh, we've got a big front mount down the front that you can't really see and yeah just superfluous stuff to run all that so let's start this up and get this thing out of here So we've just got one thing to fix before we get out of here. Don't know if you noticed, but we actually have a flat tire and I was aware of this has been sitting here for a while. Um, these wheels here are rotors um, and you exactly get what you pay for. These things have been buckled and cracked and all the rest of it and you just won't hold there anymore. So we'll swap that out so we can get it out of here. changed out uh, so now we've got a full set of three different kinds of wheels on this thing um, that's how neglected it's been uh, sorry if the audio is weird we seem to get a lot of echo going on around the storage containers here but yeah you can see different wheels on this side and different again so yeah we'll fix that i hope to get some um 
proper genuine wheels for it. I'm looking at a set of um, work ZR10s or something like this. Um, yeah, just want to kind of give this thing a big birthday. It desperately needs a wash because it's really dirty. And yeah, just put some air con back in it. Quite a few other things that will go over later. But let's move this thing out of the way, whack the ute in the shed and get on the road. out of the way let's go check this thing out so as you can hear there don't know how good the audio is we've got a bit of a squeak going on so i'm guessing that's a suspected bearing issue with one of the pulleys um, so either that noise will go away or it'll wear out on the way home but either way um, we'll fix that whenever that happens uh, the next step though will be to go to the service station because this thing's been sitting for like six seven months and the fuel in here will be stale as old balls. So whenever we hit boost, no doubt this thing's gonna shoot black plumes of smoke out the back like it used to when I drove it. Um, but yeah, we'll have to rectify that now. So let's get on the road. Okay, so now I've got the GoPro strapped to my head and I look like a knob, but hopefully you don't see the mirror. Well, I didn't bring the right bits for the GoPro mount either. So if you get a shot of me crutch, that'll be why. Um, and I'll try and fix it as we go. So let's see if, let's see if this thing moves properly. Okay, so we started and let's get out of this gate. Um, yeah, that pulley's squealing a little bit. Hopefully that goes away soon. Um, yeah, otherwise, it, well, bearings are cheap. We'll end up fixing that, no worries at all. Alright, hopefully we don't scrape on this metal track. I know my ute does. Oh, yep, we did. <laughs> yep. Oh, well, we're out. That's the main thing. Alright. So we'll wait for this truck to be out of the way and then see how bad the fuel is in this. And we're off. No black smoke yet, so that's good. Making all the right noises, so that's awesome. I really missed that. So. See how many times we can make this dash mat fall off. Brake pads have got a little bit of rubbing on there. Must have some surface rust on the rotors. Okay. All right, I'll try and keep it under the speed limit, but yeah, that's sounding pretty healthy, which is surprising. But yeah, we'll go throw some fuel on this thing anyway, and then see how it goes. All right, so I had this thing on the dyno actually, oh, it was probably four years ago now. And um, it was not long after I'd put the Garrett single turbo on this and fucked around with uh, gauges and fueling and all that sort of stuff and actually made around from memory 400 wheel horsepower and it was something like 500 foot pounds of torque so it really gets along in boogies is actually faster than project 1uz but different to drive so this thing's got a lot of top end um, project 1uz is all about that down low torque huh? it's absolute animal down at low rpm um, this is just a different beast so this intersection is sometimes a pain so we'll see if we can get out of here without any worries Trying to spin the wheels. Diff's pretty tight in this thing. All right. I can't remember what I've got the boost pressure set on this thing. I did have it on 16 pound when it made that 400-ish wheel horsepower. Um, but I know I had played around with it since then. Um, it had issues with the capacitors on the ECU uh, a couple years ago before I put it in storage. And yeah, we fixed all that, but while we were going through that, I'd turned the boost down to factory pressure. 
and I'm not sure if we turned it back up or not so I might have to have a whiz at that boost pressure gauge down here so we run the Innova Innovate digital gauges down there so we've got air fuel ratio so we can monitor that with boost basically and yeah boost gauge beside that so coming up on the servo though so we'll smack some fuel in it all fueled up that bearing noise sounds like it's going away so that's good uh, wait for old mate to sort out his trailer with his bollocks right and we're off i'll try and see if i can get a bit of a capture of this boost i think i saw 15 there so we're probably around where we were at i must have played with it since i did all the ecu stuff that's pretty good so yeah the plan with this car is, like i was saying before is i've got a baby due in november and be driving me SS Uteran that you saw before and that's been my daily for a long time and well with three people that's not really going to work because it's two CPU so I started thinking about what I should buy and I thought realistically I've still got this thing um, haven't used it in a long time it used to be my daily about 10 years ago um, but it just been sitting in storage um, I don't think I'll ever get rid of this thing um, yeah so sorry if that wind noise is a bit bad but yeah I just figured this thing's got rear seats in it, so why not just make this the family car? So, I don't like SUVs or anything like that. Um, and I don't really think there's anything else that really tickles my appeal buying something new. So, yeah, this is what I'll be using. So, stuff to do to this, um, there's just a lot of cosmetic stuff, really. Like, I'd like to get the dash redone at some point so we can get rid of this yuck dash cover. Um, other than that, there's gear shift boot, I want to put the factory three-piece JZA70 uh, rear wing on this thing. I'm not sure who that was. But... Yeah, we'll do that. Um, I'd like to get some better tail lights because there's a couple of little cracks in them. Um, some mirror trims because these things are bad with them deteriorating and yeah, basically just all the trimming stuff. I mean, this thing's 30-something years old, so all these cars are having those issues and hopefully you can find out some good bits i know the toyota heritage program is developing uh, new parts for these so that's good hopefully they start to make some parts again for this that i'll be able to utilize so uh, big one for me is air conditioning so this thing hasn't had air on for uh, like probably eight years something like that um, the compressor just seized on it and I just deleted it basically but yeah if I'm going to be using this as a family car that's a big must to fix that and I'd like to put a better front mount on it because it's just an eBay front mount at the moment um, I want to put some electric fans on it get rid of the hydro fan setup and do the water pump just all of those maintenance kind of things and yeah basically just make it so it's a nice fun drivable car Put some killer wheels on it so i said i'm looking at a couple of different options from work wheels wet sports something like that uh, biggest problem at the moment is just waiting time it seems to be like an order that takes six months from jdn concept to arrive to your door which is a bit ridiculous but that's what we've got thanks to covid so we'll try and get through here and give it a bit of a squirt railway tracks but here we go oh, hey. yep still does all the good things a little bit squirrely there but nothing too crazy plan with this thing is basically just to tidy it up um, I did take it drifting a few years ago before I bought project 1UZ and it's got steering rack spaces and stuff like that to increase the angle and that was part of the reason that I end up trashing the wheels that were on the front because they started rubbing on the control arms I might throw down a video of that here actually
so you can see there's some big chunks coming off of that um yeah it kind of sucked but at the end of the day they were just replica wheels they're rotors i can't even remember what designation they call them but they're basically a ray c28 knockoff um so yeah not the biggest problem in the world there and realistically it forces me to buy some real wheels so that's good hey. <laughs> So yeah, the story with this car. So I got this car when I was like 16 years old um, and found it at the Toyota wholesale yard. Um, and father and I basically went right over and stripped it back, painted it, um, had a fiberglass front bar on it. And yeah, we put it back to stock and cleaned it right up. I had a two liter 1G GTE motor in it. Um, it was a twin turbo. Um, it was a fun little motor, but ended up getting a big end knock in it. So from then we decided that we were going to 1JZ swap it. Uh, we bought a full JZA70R half cut that came over from Japan and basically just transferred every single wiring harness and all of that gear into here with the engine. Um, didn't have to fabricate anything because literally it was the same car but slightly newer with the 1J over there so it all just bolted across. So that was a really, really easy swap and everything's basically like factory because well they are factory parts. So that was pretty wicked. Um, and then just over the years, we put coilovers in it. Um, it's got three inch exhaust. It's got the Garrett single turbo on it. Uh, I can't remember what the manifold is on it, but it's got three inch dump, uh, high flow 100 cell cat on it. Um, yeah, other than that, everything else is pretty well stocked, just more boost into it. Um, super fun car to drive. And yeah, I'm looking forward to driving it heaps more in the future. Okay, try and give you a bit of a better angle so it's easier for me to talk. Right. Pretty warm in here without that aircon, so I think that's something definitely gonna have to look into. I've seen that Rock Auto actually sell the aircon compressors for these, um, so that's pretty wicked. So we'll get onto one of them pretty soon. And one pull. Wait, oh, you all settle down. <laughs> Things a lot of fun, but it's quite a handful and need to be careful on the street. Um, yeah. I try not to be about that, that's what the whole point of Project 1UZ is to do this shit legit, so nothing but some free fun.
I think there's just something about driving a big turbo car that even in between gear changes, you've just got to give it that little bit of blip before you push the clutch in just to get that turbo flutter going. Um, I don't know, maybe that's just me, but definitely puts a smile on your face. There it is. <laughs> All right, so there's a new estate actually being built sort of near my place. So we might try and see if we can park it up and get some beauty shots. So this has been a bit of an overview of Project One JZ. Don't know if it's a bit of a ridiculous name or not, but yeah, um, I hope that you've enjoyed watching the video. Um, Try to give you a bit of an overview of what the car's at at the moment and what the intentions are with it. Um, I don't intend to make any crazy horsepower numbers. I think 400 wheels pretty impressive for a street car, and I'm not looking to get myself in trouble. Um, even if this thing is pretty easy to get yourself in trouble, so hopefully I can avoid that. And that's what Project One uses it for, I suppose. Um, we can do this stuff legit and a lot better than being a hoon on the street. I'm not really about that. Um, everything's got its time and place, really, so we'll leave that at that. So, thanks for watching, everyone. Make sure to leave a comment if you're enjoying this content, um, if you enjoy me intermingling the cars into the channel. Um, I've been thinking my focus isn't so much going to be solely just one specific car. I've been thinking about making it about all of me cars and me builds and stuff and trying to intermingle them together as I said try and use both cars at the same time hopefully if the channel does well enough I can afford to buy some better gear and a drone and stuff like that that way we should capture some races and things like that between the cars uh, I've got friends that have got cool cars as well so we might try and grab them on the channel as well if that's interesting to everyone so yeah make sure to like and subscribe thanks for watching and we'll see you next time